The Rising Action, Climbing the Ladder of Your Story. Hello, budding writers and English enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a vital element of creative writing and storytelling, the rising action. This is the part of the story where tension and excitement build, propelling both characters and readers towards the climax. Let's unravel its significance and understand how to craft it effectively. Rising action is like climbing the rungs of a ladder, with each step escalating the stakes and engaging the reader even more. It typically follows the introduction and setting of the story, and leads right up to the story's climax. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill. It starts small but gathers size and momentum as it descends. That's your story's rising action. It's where conflicts become more intense, characters face bigger challenges, and the plot thickens. Why is the rising action so crucial? 1. Engagement. It keeps readers hooked. A story that jumps from the introduction to the climax can be jarring and unsatisfying. 2. Character development. This is where your characters grow, face challenges, and evolve. Their reactions and decisions during the rising action help define who they are. 3. Thematic depth. Through the complexities of the rising action, writers can explore deeper themes and subjects, adding layers to their story. To weave an effective rising action. 1. Establish stakes. Clearly define what's at risk for the characters. This will give the rising action purpose. 2. Introduce conflict. Introduce obstacles that prevent the protagonist from easily achieving their goal. This could be in the form of antagonists, internal struggles, or external circumstances. 3. Pace it right. While the tension should increase, remember not to rush. Give your readers time to connect with the characters and the challenges they face. 4. Foreshadowing. Drop hints or clues about potential future events. This creates anticipation and keeps readers intrigued. To better understand the rising action, let's consider some well-known books. 1. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. After discovering he's a wizard, Harry's journey to Hogwarts and his confrontations with challenges like the Troll in the Dungeon serve as the rising action leading up to the final face-off with Voldemort. 2. Pride and Prejudice. Elizabeth Bennet's changing feelings for Mr. Darcy, the misunderstandings and revelations, and the mounting social pressures build the rising action until the climax of Darcy's second proposal. In conclusion, the rising action is the heartbeat of your story. It keeps the narrative alive, propelling it forward, and ensures that by the time you reach the climax, your readers are fully invested. I hope this insight into the rising action proves helpful as you continue your creative writing journey. Until next time, keep writing and keep climbing that story ladder.